Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophie and I am the founder of Agnes London. For those of you who are new here, I upload new videos every week on sewing, upcycling, sustainable living. In today's video, I am making a dress out of mum's old curtains. So she gave me like six of these. I think they're all massive full length curtains in this like gold yellow color. Obviously it's summertime, linen dresses are very in. So I thought I would have a go at making quite a simple linen dress out of these curtains. I remember when I was a kid, my mum telling me about my grandma making her and her sister's dresses out of curtains. And I didn't think I would see the day that I was making a dress out of curtains but that's what sustainable fashion does to you. This dress cost me absolutely nothing as I upcycled the curtains. Let's get into the video and make this dress. Okay, so I've got my scissors, I've got my sketch with some rough measurements written on it. And then I have two of the really large curtains. So hopefully this will be enough. And then I have these basic dress blocks that I have left over from university. So I don't actually have a pattern and I don't have any pattern paper. So I'm going to be going off these. It's going to be quite a rough pattern drafting. I wouldn't recommend doing this. I mean, if you don't have a pattern block, you could just use a t-shirt that you already had to get the shape. But these are a size 10. They're a little bit smaller than my measurements. This is a really basic dress block. It has a dart here, which I think I'm going to maintain. And I'm going to take this dart out because I want quite a boxy shape. So I've got the front and the back. And I think I'm literally just going to draw the shape of the dress onto the fabric. This is not normally something that I would advise. So I'm just folding it in half now. This is the dress shape I want to go for and I know that I'm probably going to need a facing. So this is the center front. I'm gonna line that up with the folded part. I'm gonna use some red chalk to mark this on. So I'm actually gonna add two centimeters to the middle, which will then hopefully give me the bust measurement that I want because I want to maintain this shape to here and then it's going to go out and get quite boxy. And then this doesn't have a seam allowance on it so I'm just going to trace around it one centimetre and just mark where that dart goes to. I want it to be 65 centimetres long. So now for the front, I'm going to do a facing as a way to finish off these seams. I'm going to use my existing pattern to trace off the facing. So that is the front and that's the front facing. So that's going to help me finish off the neckline and the armhole. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the back now. Have our back panels two pieces, our back facing and the front facing as well. So four pattern pieces at the moment. So that is that part ready. And now I need to cut out this part. I'm gonna do it 20 centimeters long, plus a bit extra for a hem. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do before I start sewing is I'm gonna do the, my dart at the center front. So I'm just gonna pin them right now. Okay, so let's join the side seams now. And I probably should have joined the centre back already. Now the shoulder seams. So once the shoulder seams are done, I can try it on. So that is the main body all attached. I wanted to try it on and see how it was looking before I got too far along. And it was looking good. Yeah, I'm happy with the fit. 
So I'm gonna put that aside for a second. And now for the facing, I'm gonna attach the center back seams and all the side seams and the shoulder seams before I attach it to the dress. Okay, so there's the facing. So to attach the facing to the dress, I have turned the dress the right way around and I've got right sides together and I'm just gonna pin the neckline into place and stitch it. So making sure I line up key points like my shoulder seams, my center back. I'm gonna stitch the neckline and then I will turn it through the other way around and use a different technique to stitch the armholes. I'm actually just going to do a quick technique to stitch it back before I stitch that up. So I'm just going to stitch the seam allowance over to the facing side. So I'm just getting hold of my seam allowance and making sure that it's all over to the facing side of the seam. So I've got the dress turned the right way around. This is my facing and this is my dress. So I know that I want to match these seams up and these seams, but obviously like if I stitched it like that, as it is at the moment, this would be on the wrong side. So um, let's start with the front. So I'm taking both front seams from there and bringing them out like that and laying them back on themselves so the right sides are together. And then I'm gonna pop a pin to hold that in place. And basically, as I go, I'm gonna be pulling fabric round like that. And I'll only be able to get halfway round and then I'll have to stop and do the other half. And I won't make it all the way around the other half. I'll have to do a little bit at the bottom, but I'll show you that when I get to it. So I'm gonna stitch that front half now. So I'm having to sew a little bit and then stop and readjust and pull as much fabric out as I can. So it's quite fiddly. Okay, so that's that half done. I'm gonna pull that back through to the front and you can see that that's that front section done. So now I'm gonna do the back. I'm gonna pull the back facing out, pull these seams around to match up with each other. That's as far as I'm going to get that side, but there's still a section that I've missed. So there's still this part undone, but I can get in quite easily and do this from this side. The reason why I had to do that technique for this part is that because this seam was stitched up here, I couldn't get into it easily. And then that'll tuck back in there and I'm going to do the same technique that I did for this seam and stitch the facing and the seam allowance back. Okay, so now we have the facing attached. That is basically the main part of the dress done. Now I am gonna do the frill on the hem. So for gathering, I've got my stitch on the longest it'll go, which is number four, just a straight stitch. And then I'm gonna do two gathering rows of stitches along the long sides, about half a centimetre apart from each other. So crucially with gathering, you don't back tack at either end. So now I've finished, I am gonna take the two top threads from each length. I'm gonna hold on to them and I'm gonna just pull them and the fabric will gather up. And I'm gonna do this all the way along. And this is actually quite a big piece of fabric to do it on. It's normally a lot easier when you do it on a shorter piece of fabric. So I'm gonna gather this to the length of the bottom of the dress. Now I've gathered both the pieces. I'm gonna join them at the side seams and then I am going to finish the hem off as well. This edge has been overlocked, so I'm just going to turn it over once. The 
hem is done, let's attach it to the dress. So I'm gonna just pin the side seams together. And I wanna make sure that the gathers are quite evenly spaced because I don't want like one side to be really densely gathered and the other side to be quite sparsely gathered. That is the bottom part of the skirt sewn on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try it on and then I'm gonna overlock all the unfinished seams and give the dress a press. Here is the finished dress. So it's quite big and boxy, which was what I wanted. The shoulders, I might actually still adjust because they come out quite far, if you can see there. So I just tuck them in a little bit. I think what I should have done was straightened it up and taken a couple of centimeters off the top. So I may still do that. So it's a little less at the top, but yeah, I've got the frill around the bottom got the doll and I like it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, this dress took me like three hours and cost me absolutely nothing. There was not a lot of skill involved, just the sewing machine. And if you don't have the pattern blocks that I used originally, you could use a t-shirt pattern. Thank you so much for watching. I upload new videos every Thursday on sewing, sustainability and upcycling. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it out and like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you don't already so you can find out more about my products and events and videos. I will see you next week.